All right, time for the second stream for today, and it's Genshin Impact's rock and roll event that is gonna that's take that takes place in Inazuma, run by Aritaki Ito. So that will that is what we will be doing today. Let's get right into it because I don't know how much time is left. I have four hours left. Well, I guess who this is from? Bingo, it's me, amigo. That's right, your bestest bud who's been down here in Inazuma missing you. I recently ran into a new Fontanian friend and he said they got a music festival called the Iridescent Co uh, Tour over there. Now yours truly instantly thought of that drum, drum along festival we had last time. I don't know if I participated in that. I think I may have missed that event. And how he drummed it up on Amakane Island. Yeah, I think I missed that. Singing and scarfing down roasted lavender melons. Oh yeah, now those are some great memories. You haven't forgotten either, right, compadre? But yeah, it would be great if you could forget the part about the Tenryo Commission botching their jobs and arresting me totally by mistake. So this time, I've decided to work with my new pal and host an even bigger, even badder, even wilder musical party. And it's going to be called the Iridescent Aritaki Rockin' for Life Tour the force of awesomeness. What do you think? Doesn't the name alone just set your soul on fire? So stop dragging your feet and get your tushy on over to Watsumi Island, and, cause the one and Oni has still got a lot to say. Be there, or be square. If you're a no show, then there's no show. That's actually kind of true. Disclaimer: Of course, I didn't have. Shinobu d transcribed this for me. He totally did. Whoa, so this is the venue, huh? Not half bad. Oh, he just pops up right there, huh? So this is the event area. It's small, there's no hidden locations. So, this is relatively short. Uh, let, before I actually interact with them, I'll be right back. Okay. Don't wait a little bit. Oh, 
Also, I'm Hydro for this. I got Kazuha with me, I got Diluc with me, and I got Ganyu with me. Oh, I don't want to get too close. Now, I do hope I doubt I'm going to get enough to summon for him in this stream, but hopefully, I can get him before uh, next week. If I don't get him, that's fine. I'm definitely going for Chlorin. Eh, or I'll hate them. And Farina's rerunning with uh, Sujuin. Now, I didn't do his character. Uh, if I didn't mention this before, the sword I have on Kazuha is literally technically his. Even though I didn't do his character story on stream, he literally gets the sword at the end of it, and he takes it with him. So I'm surprised no one has this equipped on him. Oh, so I, I have maxed out Hydro Traveler. I think the only Traveler I'm missing that's not maxed out, in terms of constellations, like C6 Hydro, C6 Electro, C6 Geo, C6 Dendro, is Animo. Because Animo is behind Adventure Rank. And I've, na I've been at, what, 50 now? For a bit? But my characters are not high enough level to do the uh, domain to level up, so I need to level up my characters first in order to uh, properly do that and then uh, get the last animal thing, Constellation. I am so excited for that one and next version because next version seems to have a lot of shit going for it. Possibly new end game that I can probably do now, or probably do. That isn't Spiral Abyss, which I need to see if I can do better in that now with these leveled up characters and such. The Voriak's back. I believe, I'm trying to remember the last time we saw him. He was at Lantern, right? Last year. And we got to see Ito and, um... Or not Ito. Hu Tao and, uh... Zinyon? Where are you? Yeah, Zinyan. And Hotel rock it out. Ah, don't you worry, Jack Attack. We'll find that dog, even if it's hiding in Tenshukaku. Ito, it's just a myth. What dog? Whoa, compadre! And Paimon! <laughs> you finally made it! Oh man, have I missed you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this is Dvorak, a musician from Fontaine. Jack Attack, you know these two, right? Hi, Mr. Dvorak, it's you! <laughs> ah, it's so wonderful to see you both again. I feel like that lantern right was just yesterday. How have you been? Pretty good! It's been a year. So, how did you end up hanging around with Ito? Is he helping you with the iridescence tour now? 
Oh, you better believe it, Minnie Melon. But that's only half the story. This is no ordinary iridescence tour. Me and Jack Attack are teaming up to turn this into the iridescent Aradaki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness. Rockin' for Life? What do you know about rock and roll, Bullchucker? Huh? What, you never heard of Bullchucker rock before? Moo, moo, moo! Uh, uh. Jeez. <laughs> Don't try and understand it, Minnie Melon. It'll melt your mind. It's about letting loose. Come on, give us some lavender melon rock. Okay, speak for yourself, mister. Sounds like you're the one whose mind is melting. <laughs> These two, man. Just to backtrack a little, little, what's this dog you were talking about? <laughs> Just a local legend I heard about. Apparently there was a war between the islands of Narukami and Watatsumi not too long ago. Is that right? Such a waste. When will people learn? Make rock and roll, guys. Not war. Uh, a tragedy to be sure. Countless animals were affected by the fallout. A raven, a bakedanuki, a weasel thief, and many more sustained injuries. Uh, fair point. The animals didn't deserve that. But... I'm not to downplay it or anything, but didn't even worse stuff happen than that? In the eyes of a rocker, all living things are equally important. I don't know if... It, here's the thing, this war they're talking about. I don't know if this is a war that happened before we showed up. Or the war that happened... Ow. Pulled on my headset a bit. Or they're talking about the war, quote-unquote, that happened during the, uh... Archon Quest. So did this dog get injured too? No. The story goes that this dog was something like a Ninkin. It would show up out of nowhere in the middle of a battle to rescue the injured animals and take them to safety. Rockin' and rollin' to the rescue! A king among canines! Woo! <laughs> There'll always be a place for him in the Arataki gang. Where did you hear about this? In Rito. I was actually there while the war was going on. It inspired me to write a song about it. I was even planning to host a music festival around the same theme, but unfortunately, uh, I couldn't convince my investors. Oh, yeah. I heard all about that. They claimed they had to cancel their plans because of an accident at sea, but <laughs> that was just a lame excuse. Uh, yes. They weren't optimistic about the potential return on investment. Plus, I don't know, there seemed to be some other risks they were worried about. What kind of risks? Good question. Risks only apparent to people with Mora to throw around, I suppose. I agree. <laughs> when people have too much mora, they lose their rock and roll spirit. If it's based on... Okay, if he's talking about... If he tried to do it during the war, I, I'm guessing the thing at sea that he's talking about is possibly the thunderstorm that used to be around in Azuma. They do, huh? So what do you mean by rock and roll spirit anyway? Uh... You know, the spirit of, uh, you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches, <laughs> and that sort of stuff. Huh. By that definition, aren't the investors the most rock and roll people in this scenario? Anyway, point is, those chumps are out, and Arataki Ito is in. I'm running the show from here on out. Oh, yeah, right! How are you gonna fill in for the investors? Do you even have any more? I have faith in Ito. He tells me that the Arataki Gang is a small but well-known and influential organization in this area, and has even been known to rub shoulders with the local authorities. Isn't that right? Rub shoulders is putting it mildly. More like they're always locking horns. Hey, don't look down your nose at the Arataki Gang. I got connections, all right? Even the Track Commission listens to what I have to say. Okay, Mr. Big Shot, whatever you say. You can doubt it all you want, Mini Melon, but it's the truth. You know that guy in the Yashiro Commission? Well, he and I are officially bros. That's right. I'm talking about Toma, housekeeper extraordinaire. 
And there's the general from the Tenryo Commission, Kujo Tengu. I mean, sure, we're always ribbing each other, but it comes from a place of deep mutual respect. It has been a while since we've seen Toma. Mutual? Yeah, Paimon's not so sure about that. So what about the Kanjo Commission? Okay, fair. No first name contacts there. But the Arataki gang is a big contributor to the revenue stream. All those fines we pay. Uh, fines? Huh? No! Uh, I meant, I mean, the uh, uh, taxes. <laughs> yeah. But that's not all. Let's not forget my contacts outside of the Tri Commission, huh? Amazing, talented people from all walks of life. Like, uh, oh, like the TCG legend Ayato. Oh, yeah. He's made quite a name for himself in the TCG circles. Oh, boy. In fact, they got a saying now Ayato of the South, Ito of the North. Ha <laughs> ha That's right. I'm the only serious competition he's got in all of Inazuma. In Inazuma. Did you make that saying up? Then there's the Fox Lady, VIP customer of Yukio's ramen stall and fellow participant in the Ramen Masters Championship. I was her only worthy opponent. Also, you know that lonely god in Tenshukaku? Well, guess what? Turns out it was her lifelong wish to catch one of Arataki Ito's events. If they're... Okay, for one, if he's talking about... A... She doesn't even know who he is. One sec. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. It's literally in a dialogue line or like in a uh in one of her voice lines if you look if you have Raiden Shogun at least. When it's it says about Aritaki Ito, and she's like, who? Like, she does not know who that, who this man is. During the Drum Along Festival, the Tenryo Commission were worried that their almighty shogun might have too much fun and lose interest in running the government. That's why they invited me over to stay for a couple of days. Wow, look at you! Sounds like you're really going up in the world. At this rate, you'll have made Shogun by the next time we see you! And then Paimon will have to call you Almighty Bullchucker! Dude, what is that face she has? She looks mad.
The Arataki gang never ceases to amaze. Um, well, I'll admit I heard a few exaggerations there myself, but regardless, Ito has helped me secure a venue for this event, and for that, I owe him my thanks. Ah, it's nothing. Don't mention it. My bro Goro sorted it all out for me. Let's both go thank him later. Wait, you know Goro? Yep, I always knew him as General Goro of the Resistance Fighters. But I had no idea there was more to the story. Turns out, he has another identity. Okay, before I get into this, just the no just the reminder, I haven't done his hangouts, I haven't done Goro's hangouts, and what's about to be said is, or, well not what's about to be said, what's going to be mentioned later is connected to that hangout. But it's fine. I kind of already know. You've uh, heard of Miss Hina. <laughs> Look at that face. Miss Hina, so you. Hey, no need to yell, all right? Yes, Miss Hina. She's the one who told me. After falling for the Tenryo Commission's tricks at the Drum Along Festival, I figured I'd find a new location this time, somewhere out of their reach, like uh, here, for example. So I wrote Miss Hina a letter, asking if she knew anything about the procedure for holding an event on Watatsumi Island. She wrote me back right away and said I could ask Watatsumi Island's general for help, and that his name was Goro. I was like, what? General Goro is the general of all Watatsumi Island? <sighs> that was close. Paimon's with you now, but what did you think general meant? What do you mean? Isn't it like one general per squad or something? That's called a captain. Really? Huh. Well, either way, if it wasn't for Miss Hina, I never would have known. Pretty rock and roll, huh? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. So, technically, we're supposed to know about. <laughs> oh, okay, the differences in the faces is actually really funny. But, um. Technically, we're supposed to know Miss Hina's real identity by this time. So rock and roll. All right, good chat, compadre. I just remembered I got a meeting with Goro coming up. Gonna ask him about that dog situation. Gonna have to love you and leave you for now. Sure you don't want us to join? We could help. We could help. <laughs> you guys focus on having a blast here at the festival. I think I can handle this little canine conundrum. There's still a few days left until the big party, so not everything's set up yet, but, uh... The Jam Zone and the Roasted Lavender Melon Zone are ready for action. Have fun, compadre. Got a dash. <sighs> what a character. Kind of admire his enthusiasm, though. Well, it looks like it's just the three of us for now. Why don't I show you the Jam Zone to start with? Oh, it's official birthday. I'll have to look at it later. Just to make sure I have three hours left. I have three hours to finish this event. This is gonna be something of a record. Here we are. I've supplied musical scores and instruments from various regions, including a horn I personally brought from Fontaine. 
you can play whatever music you like. If you get tired, the roasted lavender melon zone is just over there. Ito says that lavender melons are <clears throat> rock and roll fuel. So what do you think? Want to give it a try? I guess that makes Paimon flying rock and roll fuel. Hey, cut that out! Oh, lucky Ito's gone, otherwise Paimon would never hear the end of it. Let's change the topic. What other fun stuff is there to do here, Mr. Dvorak? Well, we're planning to invite some more music enthusiasts, and we're still getting some supplies together, so we can decorate the place a little. But it could take some time. The Arataki gang has shifted their focus to the dog situation ever since I brought it up. Only one of them is actually sticking to the plan. Her name is Kuki Shinobu. She's out delivering invitations right now. Of course. Yep, that's the Arataki gang for ya. Everyone else goofs around while Shinobu gets things done. We should help out. We can't let this event get totally derailed when Shinobu's out there doing her part. Oh, I mean, are you sure? Absolutely. We can handle it. That uh, would be extremely useful. We're starting to get behind schedule, and a couple extra pairs of hands could make all the difference. No problem. We're happy to help. So you need us to find some music lovers and gather materials for decorating, was that it? Exactly. According to the original plan, we aim to finish everything in five days, and then the big party can begin. Actually, uh, give me a second. I'll make you a checklist of all the outstanding tasks. That way it'll all be clearer. Oh, also, one other tidbit to share with you. Ito is planning to perform a song on stage on the final day of the event. Ugh, typical bull chucker always has to be the center of attention. What the hell is... Okay, Paimon, what is with you? Why don't you do a song too, Paimon? Oh, Paimon would steal the show for sure! Pretty sure he'd yell out, Paimon's so rock and roll it hurts, and then he'd run off the stage, bawling his eyes out. <laughs> Those are some bold claims, Miss Paimon, but that kind of confidence would serve you well on the stage. Ah, Paimon's just kidding. Anyway, we'll be ready for that checklist as soon as it's done, Mr. Dvorak. Great. Feel free to take a look around. I'll bring it over in a few minutes. Oh, wait. Shit. Come on, talk to me first. Feel free to take a look around. I'll be with you in just a moment. Well, well, well. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. It's been a while since we've seen Whoa, him. Oh, Shinobu and Heizo. What a surprise! <laughs> This truly is a pleasant surprise. Although, not that surprising, to be honest. I was just telling Miss Shinobu that I had a sneaking suspicion we might run into you. <laughs> Doshin Shikanoin was talking about you constantly the whole way here. I guess the universe answered his prayers. Eh, it's called intuition. Names pop into my head at relevant moments, just the way my mind works. It's great to see you both. Paimon sure wasn't expecting Heizo to be the first one to show up. Boss nagged me to prioritize the Tenryo Commission invitations. He specifically requested Madame Kujo Sara and Doshin Shikanoi. So, why isn't Sara here? <sighs> Almost certainly because she has no desire whatsoever to see Ito. In her defense, here's what was written on the invitation letter. Kujo Tengu, come meet me at the top of the Sanganamiya Shrine. Let's go nuts and have a totally rock and roll sumo wrestling match. If I were Kujo Sar, I'd jump at the chance to throw Ito off the roof. Mm. But then wouldn't Kokumi come and throw Sara off cue? All that stamping around on her roof, the noise would drive her crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, Madame Kujo Sara's response was much more magnanimous than mine would have been. 
She gave us a basket of lavender melons to bring as a gift. Magnanimous? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Something tells me she's trying to send a message. What message? If that Oni brat wants to pick a fight with me, there will be plenty of lavender melons waiting for him at the police station. Mm, maybe the fact you assume that says more about you than her. So what about the other basket of lavender melons, huh? Is that one from you? What message are you trying to send? <laughs> the other basket is actually from a few of us at the police station. I chipped in, and so did some other Doshin who've arrested Ito before, and so did some of Ito's former cellmates. So, I guess this basket of lavender melons is our way of saying, there'll always be a place for you here. Uh, maybe just give Boss the melons and don't mention that part? Sure. Well, my work is done here, anyway. Now that I've delivered the lavender melons and said hello to the traveler, I should probably get going. Uh, aren't you gonna stay for the event? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll definitely be back for the big party. But I have some business to attend to in Rito first. Eesh, being a detective sounds busy. I got you running around all over the place. Oh wait, Rito! Do you happen to know anything about a mystery Ninken that appeared during the war? Apparently, a lot of people in Rito were talking about it. Ah, the dog, yes. That was the inspiration behind this music festival, wasn't it? Shinobu told me all about it. Oh, never mind. Paimon just thought a detective might have the inside scoop. I'm only speculating here, but from experience, I'd say it's probably just a local legend. I doubt the dog even exists. What's wrong? From the look on your face, You've got a vested interest in this situation. Hmm. Interesting. Well, since I'm going to Rito anyway, I can always ask around and see where it leads. Are you sure it won't impact your work? How much do you charge for your service? <laughs> Don't be silly. If this matters to you, that's a good sign that it'll turn out to be something that interests me, too. <laughs> Stay tuned for more info. See you all soon. Seems like Doshin Shikanoin's quite the lone wolf. Well, I better get back to delivering these invitations. Gotta make sure the big party's a success. In that case, guess it's time for us to get to work, too. Wonder how that checklist is coming along. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's that list for you. If you can work your way through all this, we'll be back on track. Mr. Dvorak, we'll get on it right away! Thank you. I'm very grateful for your help. If you feel like flexing your musical muscles to take a break at any point, just come and find me in the jam zone. Let's start with doing these. Actually, no, I'll wait. I'll do the picking one first because that might take the longest. Pearls, star conches, and green leaves. Hey look, it's Messina. Also, this is clearly Sayu, but I don't know why she's here. Conscious and uh, what's it called? Pearls, which 
should be down here. Hmm, I forgot where you can see a lot of pearls at. I don't want to fight anyone right now. That's bum. Where did I find pearls on the other account?
Where are all the pearls at? They so completely forgotten where they spawn. You know, this is literally the island that they spawn at. Star conscious. I also had to stop by different uh, regions to do that stuff. I also have to fight three different ruin machines, which I think I know where some are. So that shouldn't be a problem. I think they all have to be different. Way 
behind schedule. Treasures are a cause for great happiness. Next on the agenda... It's really expecting me to fight a uh the primal cotton truck. Change my team a little bit. Whatever would you do without me?
Play a little bit, go a little bit faster. The wind knows a sight to behold. Emerge right here, right now. Into the wind, as one with wind and cloud. Water jet! Yeah! Bombs away! Yeah. Come on, Matt. Emerge! Access denied! And then Clockwork Mecca. Hmm. See, they're around here. Oh, I never gotten this picture. Hmm. Huh. Oh, hey! I think I've seen her before, but I don't know, so I'm gonna wait to do this. Let's try here. Clockwork Mecca around here. Doesn't look like it. Uh, up here.
I'm just gonna be teleporting a lot until I find some clockwork, oh my god. I so also should be taking pictures. Sorry for all the teleporting, but like, jeez, where are all the mecha at? That's for Tui. About by the institute somewhere. That's still for two weeks, god damn. There we go. Yep, okay, good. Found some. Two dogs, two cats. The only problem, I don't know where the cats are. Oh, I don't know where the dogs are. I know where one is, and that's obvious Fontaine ones, but I don't know where any others are. Counts. Interesting.
Just seeing if I can find another cat real fast. I mean, there's one obvious cat location, but I want to see if I can find any before trying going there. Twilight Glow, whatever that, these are, oh, these, Hell yeah. Oh, 
I want to mainly skip past some of these, these dialogues, of course. Next leeway and then in Azuma.
There is an event going on that seems to reference <laughs> Natlin a lot, too. At least I'm done with don't these aren't bad. These are actually interesting. Songs are nice. Now I just have one more place to stop by, and that's in Azuma. for complete add astra there you go
of course, someone has to have the intro music. Easy. Would you like to practice? Oh, really? You've got the things from the list? Great, I'll take those. Thanks so much. If you do one at a time and then give it one at a time, it'll look different Thank each you time so you much. upgrade. At last, everything on the list is done. I'm afraid I still have some final preparations to make, but I'll see you tomorrow. Then the party can begin.
Interesting. Oh yeah, it's weird. So, Amiko's in the promotional art, but she never makes an appearance. Or, she never, doesn't make an appearance until a certain part. But she doesn't interact with anyone. Anyone, like, in the immediate group. Special Dungo Milk! <laughs> okay, since... I still have some final prep. Okay. Can I not practice music now? I still have some final prep. I guess I can't. I guess I have to do the time skip. Shit. I'll have to do that music later. I have to do the 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 rhythm games after the event. Padres, you're here! Hey, serious props to you both. This place looks amazing! Even better than I'd imagined! <laughs> <sighs> Everything looks perfect. We're ready for business. Traveler, Paimon, you have our thanks. Guys, guys, why so serious? That ain't rock and roll, man! Hey, look at that! My favorite melon's a fast learner! Also, I hear you're gonna be taking the stage tonight. Whoa, itching for a little competition, huh? Uh, Paimon was just joking. <sighs> Seriously, Dvorak? Unbelievable! Getting cold feet? Ah, don't blame you. I am the reigning champion of the great sing-along, after all. Oh, Paimon. Backing down from a challenge ain't very rock and roll. Then bring it on. Oh, Paimon's bringing it, all right. Paimon's bringing it all the way home. Ha! Oh, by the way, did you ever find that dog? Freaking Sayu in the background. Ah, we hit a complete dead end. Goro said he didn't know anything. Mamaru and the guys asked around the city, but no luck there either. 
What if it really is in Tenshukaku? Is that why we can't find it? Oh, no, no! Don't go poking around Tenshukaku again! You'll give Kujo Sara a migraine! Couldn't agree more. If I bother her too much, I'll end up getting struck by lightning. So that's why this time, I kept my distance and just threw some paper notes towards Tenchukaku. Hopefully, the Raiden Shogun sees them and hands the dog over. Wait, what? You're still taking a big risk there! Oh boy. It looks like Doshin Shikanoin was right. It's probably just a local legend after all. Well, let's hope not, because that would really suck. Wish I had more time to look into it, but unfortunately, this guy's got a performance to practice for. Now don't forget, there's lyrics and music scores in the jam zone, so no wussing out tonight! Don't get too cocky, Bullchucker. We'll see who's rock and roll. <laughs> Game on, Minnie Melon! Oh, Paimon better get some practice in at the jam zone soon. No way is Paimon gonna lose to Ito! Oh, by the way, we invited a ton of people this time. Including some people you know. A few have already shown up, and they're asking about you. Wanna go say hi? Cool, yeah! Let's go see them! Paimon's curious to find out who you invited. Some people we haven't seen in a while. Hey, Traveler. Some of your friends are here. Wanna go say hi? I'm curious, can I do the beats now? I still have some final prep. I guess not. That might be a post game thing. Or post event uh post event thing. This Miss Hina looks very familiar. Even the outfit. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, two things. Either Goro's playing dumb or he literally can't put his finger on it. Huh. I was thinking the same thing, Your Excellency, but I just can't put my finger on it. She really is the spitting image. Of who? Goro, come to me! Hey! Oh, hello, you two. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you again. I was just asking Shinobu if she knew where you were. It's best Karara's not here. This is a nice surprise. Paimon didn't expect to run into you two at an Arataki Gang music festival. I hear that Goro helped to secure the venue. Oh, I barely did anything. A reader for my That's Life column was asking for advice about it, so I figured I'd help out. Turned out the reader in question was Mr. Arataki Ito. Her Excellency was also very supportive of the whole thing. Mm. An international rock and roll music festival sounded like a good way to attract tourists. And it's to bring attention to the plight of living things, right? Seems like a meaningful cause. Yeah, apparently it has something to do with a dog that was a war hero? Although sadly probably not a true story. Have either of you heard anything about that? Oh, you know, bits and pieces. Nothing concrete. Hmm, yeah, no, me neither. Hmm, those sounded suspiciously like prepared answers. <laughs> Probably because we've answered that question before. Mr. Arataki Ito came to ask us about it a while back. We'd certainly love to help if we can. Yes, of course. Um, <clears throat> actually, I was hoping to ask for your opinion on something. Sure, what is it? Does... Miss Hina look familiar to you at all? I have this strange feeling like I've seen her somewhere before. Oh! Um... I feel like I met her before. I feel like I've met her before, but... Nope, sorry, it doesn't ring any bells. But you don't remember where? Ah, she probably just looks similar to someone you know. Like how the Traveler looks similar to his sister. There's no mystery here, don't overthink it. Ah, I see. Well, that does make sense. Traveler, let's get out of here. Who could... 
could it be? <laughs> I think Kokomi knows what's going on there. Oh, you're a real trooper, Yoimiya. This must be one of the furthest places you've ever delivered to. I promised Ito that I'd supply fireworks for his festival. I wasn't about to go back on my word. Hey, Toma, Yoimiya. Traveler, Paimon. Cool, you're here too. It's been too long. <laughs> well, looks like I owe the Arataki gang a huge thank you. If they weren't putting on this event, who knows when I would have gotten to see you next. <laughs> you hear that? In case it was too subtle for you, Toma is complaining that you guys never make time to come and visit your old pals. Oh, that's true. Obviously, traveling is very important to you, but you gotta take a break every once in a while. Just remember that you've got friends out there that would love nothing more than the chance to make you feel looked after. The sad thing is that our sibling didn't make many friends on her journey. Thank you both. That means a lot. Of course. Oh, I heard this really cool thing I gotta share with you guys. So, Ito says that the theme of his music festival comes from a story about a dog that saved animals in the war zone. How amazing is that? What do you know about this dog, Toma? Everyone knows how well connected you are. <laughs> For once, not much, I'm afraid. I guess my connections are one key canine short. But assuming this really happened, I feel like Watatsumi Island would have had to be involved. This is a dog who managed to sneak in and out of a war zone, repeatedly, without leaving a trail for anyone to follow. Whatever the case, it would have needed someone to help cover its tracks. As far as I know, the Shogun's army doesn't do that kind of thing. So you're saying it was the Sanganomiya troops? They had a specially trained dog for rescuing critters from the battlefield? Sounds kind of far-fetched if you ask me. Do we really think Sanganomiya's forces had enough manpower to fight a full-scale war and run a, a, a... what? A canine wildlife rescue operation on the side? Okay, well if it wasn't Sanganomiya's side, it must have been the Shogunate! I doubt they had the manpower either. Right. So, in my view, it's more likely that Mr. Dvorak simply made the story up as something to capture people's imaginations. I mean, he's an artist, right? Isn't rock music about expressing things we don't fully understand? Kind of like fireworks in a way. Uh, don't question it, just feel it. Hmm. Yeah, that sort of makes sense. That makes you an artist too, Yoimiya! Fireworks are your art. <laughs> I'll take it. And on that note, boy, do I have an art show for you tonight. Make sure you don't miss it. Sounds like you know a few things about art yourself, Toma. Art? Me? <laughs> Does knitting sweaters count? Absolutely! Knitting is totally an art form. Huh. Just... not a very rock and roll one, I guess. I don't think I'll be doing any knitting tonight. Oh, not with that attitude. You could, uh... Knit sweaters with rock and roll and big letters, then get everyone to wear them. Hmm, good idea. I'll look into it next time. Hey, there you are. I sent you some letters a few days ago. Have they shown up yet? I've made some progress, but I'm still missing the final piece of the puzzle. So what did you learn? I don't have anything conclusive yet, but I have a hunch that it involved both the Yashiro Commission and Sanganamiya. What? You mean like in cahoots during the war? Shh. Like I said, it's just a hunch. Let's not get carried away. Anyway, I've written to the station, and they shouldn't take too long to get back to me. Yuriki Iwata should be able to help find what I need. In the meantime, you'll just have to be patient. Kugan. I would have gone back to the station to look into it myself, 
But I knew Ito was performing tonight, and I didn't want to miss it. I still find it funny that Sayu is making a cameo appearance in this event, but she's not really in doing anything. You know who else is performing tonight? Paimon! Oh, wow! Sounds like I'm in for a real treat. I definitely picked the right place to be tonight. Will the Traveler's long-serving voice finally graduate from speech to song in a triumphant victory over the Oni Rocker of Hanamizaka? The funny thing about that, about the Traveler's voice, um, literally, or in the next Archon Quest, they confirm that, uh, the Traveler will be speaking again. Finally. They don't call her flying rock and roll fuel for nothing. <laughs> I'll be awaiting with bated breath. Cut it out, both of you. No more stupid nicknames. Carmen didn't realize so many people we know would be here. Better get practicing or tonight could be super embarrassing. <sighs> what if Madame Kujo Sar is the one who got my letter? No, surely she wouldn't intentionally ignore it. Come on, let's head to the jam zone. <laughs> hey, Mr. Dvorak, you're still here. Sure am. I've been checking over the equipment, scores, and lyric sheets to make sure everything's ready for tonight. Shinobu was telling me how popular light novels are here in Inazuma. So I've tweaked the melody and lyrics for a more Arataki gang feel with a light novel twist. Light novels plus rock music, so... Light rock! <laughs> I actually didn't change too much. Just took out the dog and made it about Onikabuto instead. Should be more up Ito's alley. This event couldn't have happened without him. It's my way of showing him some appreciation, I guess. What? You got rid of the dog? But wasn't that the whole inspiration behind the festival? Yes, but that's all it was. The initial inspiration. Doesn't matter if we change it to an Onikabuto, or you, or me, or anything else. It's the spirit of it that counts. Spirit? What do you mean? Um, the spirit of rock and roll? Okay, should have seen that coming. <laughs> do you think people have been getting too hyper-focused on the dog story? <laughs> it's all about the music, my friends. Just enjoy the music. That's all that matters. Ah, fair enough. Alright, well, speaking of enjoying music, is it alright if Paimon goes first? Paimon's gotta get practicing, or Bull Checker's gonna hog the spotlight tonight. By all means, be my guest. I knew you'd come around to the idea of going on stage. Here's the music score and lyrics. I can't wait to see this. Ooh, let's see now. What's this song called? I got reincarnated as an Onikabuto and flipped the world upside down? Sounds like an anime. Sounds like Isekai. What sort of song title is that? Is this supposed to be rock and roll? Soft rock, actually. I gotta see these lyrics. No, no peeking! You can hear them tonight when Paimon sings the song. Paimon's gonna rock so hard, Bull Chucker won't know what hit him. Jesus. The time flies by and night soon falls. Music lovers take turns showcasing their talent on the stage. Kinda wish we saw that. Whoops and cheers ring out as the crowd grow louder. Grows louder and the atmosphere, atmosphere gets wilder. Before you know it, the moment has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen. Tonight is a night to celebrate, and I trust you're all having a wonderful time. It's been a non-stop rock and roll ride this evening, and we're almost at the end. But first, it is my huge honor to invite two very special guests to the stage. 
the illustrious Mr. Arataki Ito and Miss Paimon. The two of them will be performing a brand new song written specially for tonight's event. It's called I Got Reincarnated as an Onikabuto and Flipped the World Upside Down. Take it away. Dan's weird when he says it. Real quick, before I continue, the voice actors nailed it. Paimon and Ito's voice actors nailed it with that song. That was awesome. Also, I, di I didn't pay attention, and i done this event on the other account, on my other account, with Lumine. I didn't notice if her glows were purple. If they were... And his is blue, that means that was a rendered cutscene, not pre-rendered. Yeah, that was awesome. And uh, Shinobu doing the thumbs up was funny. After an exhilarating song to end the night, many people begin to leave. But you and your friends approach the stage to congratulate the two rock stars. So that's rock music, huh? It's a little different than I imagined. Really? It's different from what I'd heard before. Could be a relatively new genre of rock, I suppose. So, how'd you like my performance? Did I dominate this little melon here or what? <laughs> okay, Bull Chugger, you got owned and you know it! Oh, stop it, you two. I think both of you are sensational. Here, here. <laughs> really mind-blowing stuff, guys. I call it a draw. You're very evenly matched. Aw, uh, you think? Okay, well, uh, what about you, my compadre? Who do you think is the most rock and roll? Ito, Paimon, you're both rock stars. Anyway, what nice weather we're having today. Or, been having lately. You're both rock stars. Really? Do you really think that? Ah, fine. My compadre wouldn't lie to me. I can handle the truth. <sighs> rock on, Minnie Melon. Rock on. <laughs> Let's not argue anymore, shall we? Ito and Paimon, you both gave incredibly moving performances. I owe you all an enormous debt of gratitude. Without your help, this music festival never would have happened. <laughs> Don't mention it, Jack Attack. Hey, if we hadn't met, I wouldn't even know what the spirit of rock and roll means. The spirit of rock and roll? So what does it mean? What does it mean for rock music to have a spirit? It means you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches. Just like me and Paimon. 
Yeah, that's obviously not what it means. Mr. Dvorak, can you please give us the official definition? Someone needs to take this guy down a peg. <laughs> <laughs> an unofficial definition? I don't know that one exists. It's an emotional experience. As though you're hearing your own story speak to you through the music. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking that the spirit of rock and roll is... Uh... Well, like the Onikapito in the song. Having the courage to grab life by the horns and survive against all the odds. Guess I have a better sense of rock and roll than I thought. <laughs> what about you, Yoimiya? Oh, well, I thought it was gonna be all about that dog, but then the song didn't even mention it, so... Uh, was that supposed to be symbolic? Like, if the dog didn't exist, maybe the injured animals didn't either. If there was no injured animals, then that means there was no war. Which means the world is at peace. Oh, so for Yoimiya, the rock and roll spirit is all about world peace. Shinobu, what about you? Me? hadn't given it all that much thought. I was mostly worrying about whether those paper notes Boss threw into Tenshukaku are going to get him in trouble with the Tenryo Commission. <laughs> that must mean that for Shinobu, the rock and roll spirit is about keeping the Arataki gang safe. Shinobu, seriously, you've got nothing to worry about. If the Raiden Jogan had seen any of those notes, she'd have come to join the party. Paimon agrees that you don't need to worry. Have arrested Ido by now. <laughs> Wait, where is that guy anyway? And where did Kokumi and Goro go? Oh, Doshin Shikanoin had to run back to the station, so he didn't get the chance to say goodbye to you guys. But he did leave something for you. It's over there. As for the other two, they couldn't stick around because they had a government meeting to get to. They did ask me to pass on their regards, though. The fact that these busy people all made time to attend the party is telling. Clearly, Ito wasn't exaggerating about the stature of the Arataki gang. Ito, what can I say? It's truly been an honor to work with you. <laughs> well, Jack Attack, I can't take all the credit. Let's not forget the Traveler's part in all this. A lot of people showed up because they knew he'd be here. If we do this again, we gotta make sure we find a way to get him on stage. How's that sound, compadre? Get that rock and roll spirit ready, cause next time it'll be your turn to rock our collective socks off! Oh boy. Uh, your Excellency, I believe the Ten Real Commission detective is... Don't worry about it, Goro. The Puppy Union was a joint venture between us and the Yashiro Commission. If we can maintain secrecy, then all the better for it. But that was never the main goal. We saved some lives, and that's what matters. Uh, I was more worried about the potential impact on your reputation, Your Excellency. After all, some of the lives we've saved belong to the Shogunate. If someone with an agenda finds out, it could cause an uproar. Don't worry. There might be a way to make it work out in our favor. Really? How? Times have changed. We and Narukami Island are supposed to be working together now. So it's not necessarily a bad thing if people discover that we were already cooperating with the Yashiro Commission even during the war. Hmm, huh. I see. Goro, if you want my opinion, you should be more concerned about Miss Hina than you are about this. Miss Hina? What makes you say that? I hear she works for That's Life magazine as well. She's young, popular, pretty. And she seems to be just as good at offering comfort to people in need as you are. So it looks like you have some competition. <clears throat> Understood, Your Excellency. I will work hard to stay ahead of the competition. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, hey. I learned something new today. I never knew that the Hydro Nation's rock music had the power to stir up lightning. Miko, 
A few days ago, some strange paper notes flew into Tenshukaku, demanding that I hand over the dog. So I am here to see what on earth it was all about. Notice how it says A and not right in Shogun. So this is A. This is... This is, a. Uh, it's very nice to see her out and about again. <laughs> I just assumed you must have gotten yourself a pet puppy. As it happens, I also received an invitation letter via Sara. I've never heard the name Arataki before. But they must be one of my subjects, and so I thought, why not grant them their wish? See? She doesn't even know. I'm oh, sorry, she got enough Electro logos all on her? Also, I like how she sees us and everyone there, but she doesn't decide to, you know, come down and say hi or anything. Ah, so you came here to make a little Oni's wish come true, hmm? So tell me, how do you plan to respond to the Fontanian musician? It sounded to me like his music was commenting on the war. The war? I'm not sure we can give him the answer he would hope for. But if nothing else, I know that we must avoid another war at all costs. The people cannot be made to suffer like that again. The fact that she cares so much that she wants to prevent another war is very showing of how much she has grown since the days of the Inazuma Archon Quest. Hmm. But what if the bigger war comes to pass? What then? Oh? What bigger war? Celestia? The Abyss Order? If it cannot be avoided, then I will have no choice but to fight. Hmm. Well, if that day comes, I'm sure that everyone here tonight will fight by your side. Oh, guaranteed. We're all allies. For some reason, you're, allowed, you're able to adjust the lights for some reason, even though there's no point. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, also, I will not be perfect at this. I can already tell you right now. Let's do it. Why not? Hey, Traveler. Thanks again for all your help. Everything went perfectly. I think I'm going to stay here for a while and just enjoy the scenery. Sure, no problem. Be my guest.
Yeah, I don't know how anyone can probably do this. Like, god damn. Because some of these are crazy. Wait, shit. As you want to exit real fast. Okay. I'm just gonna do normal. I'm just gonna do normal. Let's do it. That's probably the best I ever did on that. Holy shit. I think this music is fine. Also, I missed right away because I looked away. I think this one's pretty hard.
Damn, really? Somehow that was still three star? Holy shit. Wow, that's the best I did. Holy shit. I didn't feel at all. Holy shit. I was in the zone for that one. Also, you can... access old songs from the previous, like, times they did this. songs. Now this one I think is actually pretty tricky. I don't know if these are like their trailer themes or what. Sounds like a song that's in like a WWE game.
damn. Holy shit. I'm getting three stars on all of these. What the hell? Last two. Now, I have a feeling I'm going to eat shit on this one. I say these are harder than I end up doing three star. What the hell? Oh shit. Is that another perfect? Holy shit. That was another perfect. What the hell is going on? Oh shit, dude, I'm gonna do that. Last one. Oh god, never let. Farina and never let. And Jolie. And Nahida. That might have been the first time Hu Tao's, like, fat, like, really fun theme has been in the game. Wow, holy shit. I literally got three star on all of them, and that was a no-fail one either. Holy shit. I had trouble with these on the other account. I don't know how.
God damn. Hey, traveler. Thanks again for all your sure thing. Like I said, I'll be here for a while, so you know where to find me. And not that much longer. Jesus. How did I do that? <laughs> How did I do that? Holy shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna perform these ones because some people make some crazy shit. And that is the full event of the iridescent Aritaka Rock for Rock and Fort or the Force of Awesomeness. I can't say that straight. Holy shit, though. Wow, that got me all the way to 20. Oh, I only got the six. Could technically get four more, but I'm not gonna do that. Six and both, goddamn. I don't have Ito. Who else was in this? We have Hazo, which helped Goro Kokumi. Uh, Miko and A were in it, but only briefly. Toma, Hilimiya, Shinobu. But I think since Heizo helped, I'm gonna, or since Goro was in this for a good bit, I'm gonna end on him. And he was the reward, so. That has been the Genshin Impact Rock and Roll event. Oh, <clears throat> that was really fun. I did not expect to three star all those songs, especially do them flawlessly like that. At least on normal. On the higher difficulties, I would probably get my ass whooped. But anyway, that is it for today. Tomorrow, hope maybe I'll do two more streams of something of Destiny, but we'll see. If not, I'm definitely doing it on reset at least. But for now, that is it for Genshin. Don't know when I'll stream Genshin again. Streams will be weird after next week. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Hit that bell to know if you want when I go live. Follow if you enjoy my content. This also goes up on YouTube, my YouTube channel, which is linked in the description. Or linked below my uh, in my channel info. And if you want want to catch up on my stuff, um, it's all, all on my channel. And if you enjoy my content there as well, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like, all that. But for now. I bid you all farewell. Hope you all had a good day. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.